If you have one of the newer iPhones, there's a good chance you've got a new button on the side that Apple calls the action button. And honestly, it's one of the most underrated features. This little tiny button can really change the way you use your iPhone and not a lot of people are taking advantage of it. So today, I'm gonna show you exactly what it can do, how to set it up, and some really cool shortcuts that'll just make your life a little easier. Things like instantly opening up your favorite app or locking your iPhone to one single app or even locking your car from your iPhone. So let's get into it. If you have any iPhone 16 or the iPhone 15 Pro, you'll get the action button. And it's in place of the silent switch, which I think is really good because I've never turned my phone off silent. So this is finally gonna be a button that I can actually use. In the settings app, there's a new section for the action button with a couple pre-made options made by Apple if you're not wanting to get too crazy into this. So let's go over them all. We have silent mode to switch your phone from silent to ring for calls. Focus modes will either activate a specific focus mode or bring up a list of all focus modes you have. Camera will take you right to the camera app and you can select exactly which camera mode you want opened. Flashlight obviously turns on the flashlight. Quick flashlight trick, if you actually click on the dynamic island when you have the flashlight on, you get some flashlight settings like the ability to dim or brighten your flashlight or you can actually choose how wide the flashlight is. Voice memo starts recording audio right away. Recognize music starts up Shazam and will tell you any song currently playing around you. Translate will convert other languages into the language you speak. This would be really cool if you're on vacation and you need to talk to someone that speaks a different language. Then you have the more customizable actions like shortcuts, controls, and accessibility features that we're going to dive to a little bit deeper. Lastly, you can completely turn the action button off, but I mean, if you're watching this video, I would guess you're not someone that's going to want to turn the action button off. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into these settings, starting with the accessibility mode. Apple rolls out new accessibility features all the time, and they're kind of buried in the settings, but they're made to help you use your iPhone a little easier. For example, I'm colorblind, and there are actually accessibility features that help colorblind people to be able to see the colors correctly, which I've never actually tried, but maybe I'll give it a shot. Or if you have trouble reading something like text messages, there's a magnifier which will zoom in your screen to help you read the text a little easier. All these accessibility features are now mappable to the action button, which I do have three favorites. And they start with vehicle motion cues, which apparently helps reduce motion sickness when using your iPhone by placing transparent dots around the phone screen and move depending on your vehicle's motion. I get car sick pretty easily and I do always turn this on when I'm in the backseat and I do actually think it is pretty helpful. The live captions feature is also a really cool one. It'll display captions on any app you're on. And lastly is guided access, which locks your phone down to one single app. For example, if your kid or someone wants to play a game on your phone, but you don't want them getting all in your phone, you can lock them down to that single app. And then you can also put a time limit on the app so they have only a specific amount of time to play the game. All you gotta do is set a password real quick and then the clock will start. Now, before we get too crazy into the shortcuts app, let's talk about the controls action, which is pretty similar to the accessibility action, but instead of different iPhone features, it's based on certain apps. App developers have the ability to add different controls to their apps, which isn't super popular yet, but there are a few cool ones. For example, the ChatGPT app actually has a control that lets you talk to the ChatGPT voice, or the Tesla app, which actually lets you set your action button to lock your car. The action button alone with these features is pretty cool, but you can really step it up to the next level using the shortcuts app. First, you need to go to a completely different app, the shortcuts app, which lets you create shortcuts to add to your action button. Something really simple would be making a shortcut to control something like a smart light or a smart lock, something with HomeKit. But most people don't have HomeKit accessories and that's pretty simple. So let's think of a more usable one. It's pretty easy to make a shortcut so your action button will take you to one single app, but I use like four apps every day. So I wanna be able to press my action button and then pick between those four apps. Here's how you do that. Press the plus button in the top right corner to add a shortcut. Then search for choose from menu. Add the names of the apps that you'll want on the list and then you'll see the apps added lower on the list. Now, go right under each of your apps and you can add another function to open each app by searching for the open app, then finding the correct app. Then when you're done making your shortcut, you can go back into the action button settings and pick that shortcut. Now, you can press the action button and it'll show your list. This one's really cool, but there is one more shortcut that I really like that does take a little bit of time to get right, but once you get right, it's super useful in your daily life. It starts by having the shortcut find out exactly what focus mode you're using right now. And my next video is gonna be a deep dive into focus mode, so stay tuned for that next week. First, start by making a new shortcut and searching for get focus. Now add if and change the icon to name and type the name of your first focus mode. Now anything under this function is gonna get activated whenever you're in this focus mode. I'm gonna have it open Apple Maps when I'm in the work focus since I do a lot of driving for my job. I time my fitness focus, start a workout for me and turn my lights on and my heater in my garage since that's where I work out. I have my personal focus take me straight to the YouTube app. Then my sleep focus will actually take me to the alarm clock app, turn my lights off and lock all my doors. The action button can be super useful if you just take a little bit of time and put a little bit of work into it. I hope you got something out of this video and thanks for sticking around.